Oh yeah, where are we going? Oh, yeah. Where are we going? We're about to get our race packages. Race packages! Pumped! Pumped! Ready for the race on Sunday! Up for the race! Yeah, what it do? What race? Uh, we're running uh, in the Detroit Free Press Half Marathon. We're gonna cross into Canada, the God's homeland, and come back to the US, finish uh, 13 miles, 21 kilometers. Posers. Alex Kaladi, you're a poser. Wow, we took got caught in a dead end here and we just in Detroit and we just found this uh, car that's pointing straight up in the air, so that's fun. My schedule says rest two days before the race. Oh yeah, that's the that's the schedule for the event. The, the men's schedule says don't rest at all. It's, it's disturbing. <laughs> it's kind of scary. So I've been in, I've been into this whole fad of making gifs lately. Is it gifs or gifs? I've always wanted gif. It's gif. You sure? What does it stand for? If, if you look for like the official trans pronunciation, I'll say gif. Well, what does it stand for? Does it stand for something? I don't know. West. I've always said gif, off. but then I have really JPEG. What's it stand for? Juggling. Pink. Elmos. <laughs> Greatly. Greatly. <laughs> <laughs> when I walk around and I see a bunch of runners, I kind of judge who I could beat when I'm here. So I see like some guys who are like really fit. I'm like, oh man, those guys are gonna beat me. And then I see other guys. And then you see, you see a bunch of 12 year old kids and you're like, yeah, you probably beat them. Yeah, essentially. And we are at the Detroit Free Press Marathon Running Expo where we pick up our race packages for race day and uh, hopefully not make impulse purchases. Resisted the desire to purchase running tights successfully. No, I got short shorts. You got short shorts? Check it out. Check it out. Like, oh yeah. Those are shorts. They're short shorts. Those are modest. Oh yeah. He didn't know he was actually shopping in the underwear section. Oh yeah. You worried? You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning, and we're headed down, oh, that's a bright light. We're headed downtown to uh, get ready for the race. During the race, you go through this roller coaster of emotions and thoughts. Like around mile seven, you think, what the heck were you thinking running this race? I found myself thinking these thoughts like, if only I had a few more minutes to stretch. If only I had been training for a few more weeks. If only, if only, if only. I just wouldn't feel so terrible like I do right now. And then I caught myself thinking these thoughts and I realized something. If I was better hydrated, if I had more time to train, 
if I had been able to stretch, but I still would feel like trash because I'd be pushing myself to the limits of what I am capable of doing. And if this is true of running a race, physical exercise and training, how much more important is it in running the race of the Christian spiritual life? St. Paul says, train yourself in religion. For while bodily training is of some value, religion is of value here and in the life to come. In the Christian life, I can make all kinds of if onlys. If only my kids were grown up. If only I wasn't so busy. If, if only I didn't have so much schoolwork. If only I wasn't so tired. I'd have more time to live out my faith. I'd have more time to pray. We can make all kinds of excuses, and yet we're not talking about a little medal that you get at the end of the race, a little trophy, but we're talking about what lies at the end of the finish line of this life, which has eternal consequences. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, every sin that clings to us, and with perseverance run the race that is set before us, with our eyes fixed on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. He said if I could break one hour and 40 minutes for the half marathon, he would pay me $200 US. Canadian. So, 200 Canadian. And, and, and Alex, did you get close to that, you think? Well, my clock time was 1.44.30, and I started in wave C. So, you get to subtract some time, so we're going to look up the official results right now. Alright, here we go. Oh! 1.42, baby! Oh! One <laughs> So that's pretty impressive, man. That's, that's, that's impressive, man.